So you are the director of this film? I am. I'm uh, Roland Keats. I'm uh, the director, producer, writer, researcher. And that's it. <laughs> well, the film came ar around because uh, of my interest in uh, alternative uh, religions. So I didn't... I really wanted to find out what Druidry was, what paganism was, what uh, who were the Celtics. So it's going down all these different branches, and uh, I, I chose Druidry out of other pagan uh, uh, offshoots because I love nature, and Druidry is nature. It's it's a philosophy, it's a religion, and this film kind of evokes my uh, interest into, uh, into this subject. Hence why research has taken uh, about 18 months of uh, research, reading, talking to people, coming and then shooting today and uh, yeah. How long has it taken to plan so far? It's uh, taken 18 months of planning, so that includes reading, researching, scouting the locations, scouting uh, for the actual places we're going to do the interviews, finding the actors, finding the crew. The crew was easy. Good friends, family, and... Uh, this is uh, where we're at today, at uh, in glorious sunshine in uh, Belpa. Would you say it's all gone quite well so far? It's uh, the first day of, uh, well, the second day of shooting, when we had uh, the drone. The drone didn't come because it was too windy. So we had uh, organised to film at a, uh, a stone circle in uh, Derbyshire and uh, the farmer's lady uh, kind of uh, told us not to come quite aggressive towards uh, what we was doing but afterwards everything just flowed and uh, yeah we've, we've had some ups and downs but uh, more ups than downs so it's, it's coming together now just nicely your role in the production? I'm helping with the sound mainly, I'm the boom girl. Yep. How's it all going so far? Yeah, it's been very good, very interesting. On the Saturday we went over to the other side of Bristol and uh, met some druids doing their, watching their ceremonies and they were being interviewed of what, what a druid means, which I've learnt something. So yeah, no, it's been good and the weather's lovely today. Has anything not gone so well? No, not really. I think it was a bit windy on the Saturday, but but no, no. I've missed out on the Sunday weather, so 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 far so good. Shot three. One C, take one. So, what is your role in this film? Um, I'm just helping. Just taking some stills, basically, right? You know, which role he uses for uh, publicity, mostly, right? You know, for his websites. Right. How do you find it going so far? Uh, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's lovely on a late day like this, right? You know, outside, you know, but uh, like the other day, you know, it was a, a bit cold. It's not very nice there, right? You know, but fine at the moment, yeah. Any last things you want to say? No, no, I'm very glad, glad to be out doing something, really, right? You know, that's not, you know, it's a good idea for all this, right? You know. Thank you. So I'm playing Moira, who is Gemma's aunt. Moira uh, is married to Dylan and they're both druids. So uh, Moira is kind of 
helping to facilitate uh, Gemma's introduction to uh, Dylan and Moira's life as, as druids. It's past your bedtime, young lady. I hope your uncle hasn't been filling your head with teachings. Are you enjoying it all so far? Absolutely, yeah, and we've been blessed with a really beautiful day as well. So, yeah, I've, it's been great meeting uh, the cast and other members of the crew. Of course, I already knew Dylan from uh, the work that I've done, and uh, it's been really great to work with him again. He's, uh, he's a great, great character and a really nice guy. I think, to be perfectly honest, the highlight has been this location because it is just the most beautiful place, um, hidden little gem in Derbyshire. Uh, the garden is beautiful and as I say the weather has been so fantastic that couldn't really have asked for more. Has anything not gone so well? Um, no, I don't think so. As far as I can tell everything's gone according to plan. I haven't tripped over, which is good for me. I haven't spilt any food all over myself, which is another plus. Um, yeah, it's been good. Okay, that's gonna look good. Yeah. So, what is your role in the current film? Um, I'm the lighting cameraman. So basically, Roland's asked me to look after the look of the film from, um, well, Together, really, him has got an idea of how it's going to appear, ultimately. But I have to help him through, so we work out scenes, work out the lighting, we'll work at the weather, filtration on there, colours of what people wear, um, props even. All those kind of adds to the, the look of the, the picture at the end of the day. How did you get involved in this film? Well, I've done... Rowley's worked with me on a number of occasions. Um, he came over, um, it was a college project a few years back, and I was making a film called Camp Montpellier. And he stuck with us since. Um, and over the last few years, he started making his own documentaries, and I've been helping him out, both as mentor, but also on the technical side, basically, again, as a lighting cameraman, and uh, I edit his work as well. But he's got a lot of preconceived ideas of how things go. So editing is just a kind of foregone conclusion of the way the thing's going to look at the end of the day because it's done all the homework. Uh, but still leaves an awful lot of creative uh, creativity for me to get on with. It becomes more of a it's a teamwork rather than just you know getting on with a job. Have you enjoyed it all so far? Yeah, it's good. It's, good. it's hard work, but it's um, it's a good laugh and. Uh, it's a nice crowd we're working with, the actors are working with, it was gorgeous today, but you take the rough and smooth. Last week we were shooting up an hour below and it was like about, felt about minus 20 up there, it probably wasn't. And it was raining at times or whatever, you know, there's the problem with working on a film like this, a documentary. Today it's all actors, we've done external scene, wrap that up this morning, it's all internal now, so we're just the mercy of the lights that we use and the props and whatever, so we haven't got to worry about the weather. Help! Wait! Come on, let you go. Mum, come on out, babe. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm uh, driving for Rowley, just shipping the stuff about. I don't. Is this your only down production? Sorry? Is this your only day on production? Yeah, yeah, at the moment, yeah, yeah. Done well so far? We've got here. <laughs> no problems? Nobody's died. having a bit of fun on set. Yeah. You enjoying your time here then? It's alright. Okay. So what is your role in this film? Uh, my name is Dylan Knight and I play Dylan Kedleston who's a teacher who's actually the main character in the drama part of this film and I play him being a druid as well as a teacher 
and his niece has come to stay with him and her auntie and she finds out that she's a, that she finds out that he's a druid by catching him and doing some ritual practice in the garden. It is true, isn't it, that you are actually a druid? I am indeed, yes. Uh, being a druid means following a spirituality that's nature-based. Uh, druids today, I'm aware, are not what druids used to be. Uh, because in pre-Roman times, um, druids were the intellectual caste of the Celtic system. So you had your warriors, you had your chiefs, you had your druids, uh, you had your farmers, um, leather workers, everything else. And druids were more or less the philosophers and scientists of their time and their day really. Whereas now I suppose we're more of uh, explorers of uh, spirituality trying to put pieces together uh, to recreate I suppose what our version of druidry is. It's basically a, a spiritual path without being overly dogmatic. Would you say being a druid has helped you to play your role in this film? Definitely. Definitely. Uh, in fact, I was only meant to be helping out on the film as an advisor. Because uh, through that weird coincidence of a friend of a friend of a friend, oh, he's, no, he's making a documentary about druids, he wanted, to, he wanted to know if you'd be up for any questioning, so I did. And then I was meant to be like an advisor. It was one until I was talking to Rowley and we were talking about past things that I've done as being an actor. And he said, uh, did you want to audition for it? Do you want to give it a go? It's going well. Especially if I can get my lines out right, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm actually having fun with it and we're shooting in such beautiful locations and I've been working with wonderful people as well. So yeah, I am really enjoying it, thank you. Any further comments on the film? Only that I hope that it's received well in the intention it's made. Because when you get people who contact uh, druids and pagans, anybody of an alternative spirituality other than Christianity or Judaism or even Islam, um, people tend to take the mick out of us and we're so used to as a religion and spirituality in our own rights where people have made documentaries about us and then it's made into a comedy farce without our knowing it's disrespectful to us and all we want is be able to actually make something like this where Rowley is genuinely wanting to do the right thing and we need more of that. I wouldn't have gotten involved in this project if I didn't think Rowley and the script were sincere. How's the production going on? That's good bad actually, we're pretty bad on time. That's good. Brilliant. Um, my role in this uh, film is quite a multitude of roles really. First and foremost, um, I'm the director's assistant. I'm also the best girl. That means I'm the clapperboard girl, really. I mean, best girl is just a better word for it. So I do the clapperboard and I do the script supervisor role as well. Yeah. How's the film going? Um, pretty good the past two days, except for today. With the, with the drones, it's not, you know, it's probably. It's a cursed day for the drones, it's not been working so well. But um, with all the um, camera thing, it's been working all right. So yeah, it's in the can. Any further comments you'd like to make? Mm, just like, we enjoy doing um, the filming and such a lovely, lovely weather and so such rolling. lovely, lovely people. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay guys. Look right at me. Lovely. One just a bit more high key. There's never one, is there? So, how has the last week been with the filming? Busy. Busy. I, I've taken somewhere near 2,000 images, um, some of which are composites, so they'll be uh, got to be built yet. Um, and I've done a first sift. Um, to get rid of the stuff that we don't want and uh, we've got more of that to do tonight. Has it been a success? Yeah, I've got one good picture, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Anything not going too well? Um, embarrassing moments, like, like the like the drone guy, bless him. I, um, uh, we did the circular image yesterday where everybody stood around and I checked out I had to remember how to do it in the village hall at the lunchtime on the first day when we were f filming down in Bristol. And then 
we went out to the field to do it and would the two connect? No. <laughs> so I, I, I felt for him today because th these things are sent to frustrate us. What about the highlights, your favourite parts? Oh, just the, the amazing weather last Sunday. Uh, you know, I mean, it was just so much better than today. Uh, in, in all respects, I, I think we're warm now. Did you like all the crew you worked with? Always. <laughs> Any final comments? Yeah. What else would you do on a day like today? Really? I've got all that gear, no idea. What else to do? Action. So what's your role been on this production? I've been Gemma, who is uh, one of the main parts, and she's the goth that turns into the druid. You enjoyed it? Yes, I enjoyed it very much. How's your acting part of it? Yeah, he's been really fun. He made it a lot funner than it would have been because he had to wear a coat in the warm weather and then it was freezing cold last Sunday. <laughs> so what have your favourite parts been? Uh, I enjoyed yesterday because we visited lots of different sites and got to do things I wouldn't normally do. What about the worst parts of it? Last Sunday, freezing cold. <laughs> Is this your first proper job in acting? Yeah. Do you feel like you've learned a lot? Yeah, I've learned a lot. If there's another young actor watching this, what advice would you give them for their first acting role? Just go for it, be confident and go for it. So you'll kneel down and just look at uh, nature. Oh, look at the bluebells. And uh, then uh, we'll say cut. It's been a, uh, a wrap today. Uh, we've had a, uh, a few hitches, but uh, we worked through it and unfortunately uh, the drone wasn't working as successful as uh, we'd hoped, but uh, that's part and parcel of the filmmaking. It doesn't always run smoothly, but it's just like a, uh, a dry stone wall. We're built strong from Derbyshire. So has it been a success? Uh, success is always measured by uh, how well the film does. I would say it's a, uh, a success. I feel very happy about it. And uh, if you ask me if I would do it again, certainly yes. Our next film will be more or less about modern day witches or Japanese tea ceremonies or uh, Wicca, going back into uh, the earth uh, religions again. How have all the crew been on this set? Everybody's worked together really well. I'm really pleased and uh, Amy and Dylan and have a work together. There's a, uh, a nice uh, gel of uh, an uncle and aunt. Uh, sorry, an uncle and niece kind of uh, rapport. I'm really happy with uh, the casting of the two main characters. Thank you. No problems. Any final comments to end off your behind the scenes? Oh, I, I just hope uh, that uh, the film is uh, that uh, the different nominated uh, religions will uh, learn something from uh, Druidism. That it's not uh, all uh, running around stone circles naked and such. It's much more. It's much more of a philosophy, a religion, and it should be well respected. Thank you.